On August 8th, 2021, a decree came down from the highest order of the land. In a series of tweets, the NBA officials announced a return to the old ways and the end of the era of grifting. These weren't rule changes per se, but four points of emphasis for the 2022 season around non-basketball plays. First and most importantly, no more launching into defenders at abnormal angles. Second, and related to that, abruptly veering into defenders is forbidden. Apologies to Chris Paul. Third, abnormal leg kicks to draw fouls on jump shots are no longer allowed. And last, but certainly not least, hooking with the off arm is forbidden. Why it was ever allowed in the first place is between me and my therapist, but that is a whole nother video. In this video, let's talk about the three marquee players who have felt the new officiating the hardest and how it's extended to some less obvious concepts. For instance, they're just allowing more physicality this year. If you grew up watching basketball before, say, 2015, this was either a non-call or sometimes called and then bemoaned as a quote-unquote touch foul. This typically shows up on plays related to offensive players initiating contact. Beal spins into smart shoulder here, and I'm seeing fewer defensive fouls when the dribbler's off arm is extended like that, even though smart is arm barring him. There's a ton of contact on this Gordon Hayward drive, but it features two points of emphasis. Hayward veers back toward the middle just a bit, and then on the up fake jumps into the contact. Both could be defensive fouls, but there's been a reluctance to call them when the offensive player initiates the contact. Jason Tatum has had a ton of these plays where he's sort of lowering a shoulder and driving into defenders. And these are no calls this year, which are part of his struggles. He's also just missing finishes he normally converts, which is why he's shooting 17% worse at the rim compared to last season. Trey Young is actually taking more shots at the basket this year, but all those free throws from stopping short have been eliminated. He stopped short? That's my move. <laughs> Young is taking 3.7 fewer free throws every 75 possessions, the second biggest drop in the league, and I think it's because he's simply not even trying to draw these kinds of fouls on jump shots away from the hoop. The biggest drop in free throw attempts belongs to Damian Lillard, who, for my money, is one of the three most affected players in the league by the new officiating. Lillard quietly racked up a ton of free throws in the past, he was 10th in the league last year in free throw attempts per possession, and he was 6th in fouls drawn per possession, behind only Embiid, Giannis, Trey, Zion, and the founder of Big Face Coffee. Lillard amassed a ton of free throws by leaning in and subtly initiating contact while on the move. He also looked for minor contact with sliding defenders out on the perimeter and then launched himself into his shooting motion the second he felt it. This year, those lean-ins are an explicit point of emphasis, and so they are just play-ons and turn into difficult shots. This is a great example where Dame gets downhill and then veers back toward the defender at an abnormal angle, and this actually leads to a missed reach-in foul. This has been a common occurrence where officials are trying to disincentivize these kinds of plays so they are missing other fouls that also occur in the same action. Another byproduct of these officiating points has been more verticality contests at the rim, where defenders can claim space by going straight up, regardless of how hard an offensive player hurls themselves into him. Notice how Drummond goes straight up here, so all that body contact is actually okay while he uses his size to cleanly block it up top. I, for one, love this direction because it forces offensive players to focus on scoring over or around these big men instead of just foul hunting. And these are some of the most exciting aerial plays in all of basketball. You know who doesn't love this direction? Devin Booker. 
As of November 17th, Booker's rim finishing numbers have declined more than just about any other guard, perhaps outside of De'Aaron Fox. He's taking 1.4 fewer shots at the rim every 75 possessions, and his field goal percentage there has dropped 9 percentage points. Last season, Book generated a ton of easy points by either leaning in for contact or, much like Lillard, just flailing into a shot at the faintest hint of any contact. As P.J. Tucker slides with him on this play, Booker just throws his head back, leans in, and fires it toward the hoop completely off balance, and it's free throws. This year, those calls are all gone. Slamming into a sliding defender at high speeds just leads to tough shots. That lean in and fire from the outside move isn't working anymore. And Booker's little move where he launches himself backwards like we just saw against Tucker is no longer a trip to the free throw line. Devin also attended the Reggie Miller School of Leg Kicking, and that used to draw fouls. This was an and one on a three in last year's playoffs. But this year, that exact same move is an offensive foul because the league is trying to eliminate this non-basketball chicanery. This, this chicanery, he's done worse. Booker is also an up-fake practitioner, pumping a defender into the air and then jumping into them. And that is also now an offensive foul. And it's something players have quickly abandoned. Take this play, where a year ago, Booker may have been looking to jump into the defender, but now he lets him go by, and it's just a normal basketball shot. There are plenty of other names we could mention, but I think the player most affected by all of this is James Harden, because the beard has mastered so many of these non-basketball moves that are now a point of emphasis. Harden had more tricks than David Blaine. There's his two-legged kick out on a three-point shot, which earned him a ton of free throws in the past, and if you're wondering what his normal landing looks like, it's just jumping up and coming back down in almost the exact same spot, just like every player ever. As you may have heard, most of Harden's tactics involve his off arm, subtly pushing or moving it into the defender's body while he gathers to initiate contact. And this is also now frowned upon. Here's a slightly different version where he senses the defender's hand near the ball, so he rips the ball up on the gather, and all of this contact-seeking behavior isn't being rewarded anymore. The ultimate example of this is with his hooking, which was explicitly called out as a point of emphasis by the officials. Last week, this play was called an offensive foul, and as far as I can tell, the unnatural gathering angle is the key to the call. Harden's natural pickup motion is actually really low. He's quick to pat the ball with his offhand like this, and he brings it up from around his waist. You can see the exact same technique on a drive where he's actually cleared the defender. So when he gathers it up near the letters from a much higher angle, now it becomes one of those non-basketball moves. And this year, as a result, that is an offensive foul. After watching about 50 of these plays this week, I think Harden feels contact on a drive and then looks to hook while most players just keep going at that point. Notice how someone like John Morant swings his arms in front of his body as he moves away from the defender and his hand check. There's a ton of contact on this one, but in trying to stamp out all these unnatural actions, the whistles simply aren't blowing this year. James also has a two-handed version of this where he swings the ball out in front of him, looking to make contact with defenders and their arms. He and the Nets have been very frustrated by all of these non-calls, but again, I think initiating the contact is the key. On this play, he whips his forearms into Vucevic's idle arm. Notice how he sends Vuce's arm flying upward, and there's no call on this play. But a minute later in the same game, he gets the call against Tony Bradley, and while this may look identical at first, I think the key difference here is that Bradley reaches out into Harden's path, so even though he's swinging upward, this is going to be a reach-in foul on Bradley anyway, because he's beat so badly. 
All of this has taken some of the bite out of Harden's offense. Last season, 40% of his attack came at the rim or from the free throw line, and that number has dropped way down to 32% this year, which is one of the largest declines in the league. Moving forward, it will be interesting to see how much Harden adjusts all of these habits that he spent so many years building up. And after the first month of the season, at least, with an emphasis on non-basketball moves and things like hooking or leaning in to initiate contact, I think James Harden has been the most negatively affected star in the league by the new officiating points of emphasis. I'm really interested to know if you like the points of emphasis that the league has implemented this season. You can get access to many of the stats you see in these videos updating daily throughout the season. Patreon.com slash Thinking Basketball is the place to sign up. Hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. And of course, I hope you are having a great day.